You know, pandas are getting all the spotlight right now, but they're not the only endangered animal from the other side of the Pacific that the zoo is working to save. The zoo is also helping out with a new study about the platypus, which is also kind of a cute and fun animal. I got to talk with the zoo's head of wildlife health about this new partnership with a zoo in Australia to protect the platypus from the impacts of climate change. They're elusive, camera shy, and kind of weird to look at. They're a very mystical little creature. And this enclosure at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park is the only zoo outside of Australia where you can see a platypus. ABC 10 News was there in November of 2019 when it first opened. It gives researchers here a unique opportunity to study and protect this endangered animal. This is why we're here. We are a conservation organization. We have these animals so we could speak to them so they can tell their story and so we can learn from them and make that available for their wild counterparts. Now, the safari park is part of a new platypus research program just launched last month by the Taronga Zoo and the University of New South Wales in Australia. They all hope to study the animals in the wild and at the brand new Platypus Rescue HQ in Australia to learn how they live, breed and survive through climate change. Platypus is an excellent example, an excellent ambassador in sort of a bad way of how wildlife gets impacted by climate change. There are already dire conditions, there's already pressure, stressors on on these animals and then uh, many of those things a lot of times get exacerbated by uh, climate change. The research teams hope to use their findings to know when to step in and rescue wild platypus populations and when to set them free. They also want to build a genome bank to help diversify breeding. They call it a world first project with unlimited potential. Platypus are impacted by, by climate change, which seems like an overwhelming problem, but there are things we can do. And it doesn't take the whole world to collaborate. It just takes two organizations like San Diego Zoo and Taronga Zoo to, to partner and make this happen. Now, because of how elusive and hard the platypuses are to study. It's tough to know exactly how many are left in the wild. Estimates range anywhere from 30 to 300,000. But here's one number we do know. Since 1943, only 23 platypus babies, which are called puggles, have been oh. born in captivity. I know they're cute, right? Oh. This study wants to get that number way up.